I welcome you to the Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe and today in the Craft Supplies series we are unboxing the Scrawler Box April Art Supplies Box. Yes, Art Supplies. If you are new to my channel I will explain quickly why I am subscribing to the Art Supplies shop just to receive things I haven't seen before, to receive materials I haven't seen before to educate myself and to be surprised. And Scrawler Box is a box produced in UK. They are getting better with their deliveries. This box took just one week to arrive here in France and it cost me 25 euros including the delivery. In the box, first of all, you will find this little magazine which includes description of the products in the box interview with an artist, examples of the artist's work and artwork created by other Scrawler Box subscribers in the previous months and some more images and information for your inspiration and always there is a little artwork print by the designer of the box and this month's box is designed by UK artist Camilla Gardner and she lives in Durham County and I have been in Durham it's a beautiful old old city with an amazing cathedral the only trouble was trying to walk on the streets in this city because you cannot walk there you either try to climb up or try not to f roll down when <laughs> walking down the street it is so hilly but I'm digressing so let's turn, return to the box the box uh, includes watercolor paper pad and it is Scrawler Box own brand and they have never disappointed me with their papers and this time these are 8 sheets of 300 gram watercolor paper. Amazing! So by now we understand that we will have a watercolor theme to this box. Let's check this wrapped package to see if we are right. It's always a joy to open the <laughs> little package and see what's inside and this time it is also bursting out of the seams. Let's take the tissue paper away and have a look at the goodies inside. So we have the scrawler box sticker, a card describing the product. And this is what's in the box and we will start with these two pencils. So they are China Graph pencils. They are new to me, so I'll be happy to learn something about them. And they are for writing on everything, including films, plastic, china and glass. And we have two pencils, white and black, exactly the same. And I will insert right here how I tried to test the pencils. I had no problems with the white one, but the black one... Oh, I struggled with it. I had to sharpen it several times. It kept bro breaking and every time I put it down to the paper it broke. And this is what I was left when I finally got to the good part. And I could start uh, drawing something. And to test the pencil I took the piece of um, acetate to see how it works. And then I decided to compare it with another uh, pencil which is supposed to write on all surfaces which comes from Stabilo and I try to apply exactly the same pressure but you see straight away the difference between the two black pencils hmm. yeah so the black one somehow disappointed especially because of the broken core and then I tried the white one. The only thing I could find was this uh, brown water bottle <laughs> and it did leave a mark. And it says in the description that it doesn't really come off with when you try to rub it with fingers, but it does come off if you rub it with a cloth. And it is exactly so. So let, let's return to the box and have a look at this one. And as you see, this is a water brush, but it is like a 4x4 jeep of water brushes. <laughs> Oh, it is so huge. It is by Dervent. The barrel for water is very big. 
and it has a push button to to press the water out <laughs> and I checked that uh, these um, water brushes uh, retail for around seven euros so this is one third of the value of your box just in this water brush and we will see later how it works when I will test the colors there was a candy as you saw the candy usually matches the colors of the box this one sort of does but then again there are a lot of colors and these are watercolors I own quite a few watercolor sets but none of them are um, watercolors in the tube so I'm so excited about them this was uh, lemon yellow and now I'm trying say crimson red and I tried to get the water out of the brush and you saw what happened I pressed the push button and I got a puddle of water on my paper Ooh. and I tried to be more careful with the raw sienna uh, okay, it worked better. But you see the colors, how pigmented they are. And then again, a big puddle of the uh, hooker's green. You see how much water I have. So this pen really requires either a lot of practice or working on big surfaces maybe, or just use it to wet the paper before painting. Or maybe I just need to practice for an hour or two to push the button. Okay, and with the ultramarine blue, I'm trying something that the uh, magazine suggested is to use the uh, China Graph pencil to first make marks and then paint with watercolor on top. And the um, waxy pencil should work as a resist. It sort of does. It it's getting better as the paint dries but the effect remains very very subtle so I'm still underwhelmed by these pencils but the colors wonderful so pigmented so bright and an opportunity to learn to paint with um, liquid watercolors and every month scroller box invites you to participate in the challenge to create something using the materials uh, in the box and the subject this month was birds of feather I cannot draw, so I took a stencil by Clarity stencils, used a structure paste and then colored it using well, these watercolors. And see how vibrant they are and how wonderful is a layer. Please do not tell the scroller box, but I couldn't leave it like that. I wanted to use my own materials too, so I cut the bird out and I put it in my art journal. I added some details like old book pages, a frame, a beautiful stamp, and a sentiment which says that this is me when I try to order coffee in a foreign language. I feel <laughs> very proud of myself. <laughs> and I found a beautiful solution for keeping the paints. So this was the April scroll box. I hope you enjoyed it and you are inspired to create something with new materials to you. Bye bye and see you soon in the next episode.